good morning guys <laughs> it is Sunday December 6th and I'm about to head to the gym I figured I would go ahead and vlog today because this coming week at work is going to be absolutely insane I have something like an event or some appointment every single day after work Monday through Friday whether it's a vet appointment or a happy hour or a Christmas party, I've got a lot going on next week, so that's gonna leave very little time for recording. So I figured I would go ahead and record today. So this will be kind of a vlog of my day and maybe I'll be able to throw in some writing advice or something like that at the end, who knows? I guess we'll see how I'm feeling. But yeah, right now I'm gonna go get a workout in, so I will see you guys in a little bit. that my fiance and I moved into has a free gym that we can use, which is great. It's actually part of the racket club. So we actually live on the lake. So there's a yacht club and there's, you know, boat slips and a marina. And then there's also like a racket club, a fitness center. I don't know. There's just a bunch of amenities. It's really wonderful. There's a golf course and you can go and like have dinner and stuff on the golf course. And like I said, the Yacht Club, which is where they have a lot of their dinners and events and things like that. So um, I like, I don't know, I just kind of forgot about the fitness center. And yesterday was the first day that I went. So today's the second day and I loved it yesterday. It wasn't busy at all, which was wonderful. Um, their machines are really nice and they have a lot of ellipticals. They have a Stairmaster thing and then they have a lot of treadmills too and a free weight section and they also have classes. So I'm gonna get that schedule because I'd love to get back into yoga and Pilates. But yeah, so I'm gonna head inside and get my workout in. Alrighty, so I just finished my workout. It was a good workout. I only did about 10 minutes of cardio because I just wasn't feeling it today. And really I'm trying to focus on toning so I spent a lot of time on the machines so we will go run some errands now there's a car alarm going off I just got some red lobster for lunch we're gonna have fish for lunch all right so I just got home and this is my guess for what Jonathan's doing I'm gonna guess that he woke up he had a bowl of cereal and then he's watching Ancient Aliens or some other thing on the History Channel or AMC. And he's going to be passed out in the recliner when I walk in. So let's see if I'm right. Hi. Hi. myself look somewhat presentable. <laughs> just got a package in the mail so I was thinking that I would kind of turn this into I guess kind of a book haul video and there's one book that I forgot to tell you guys about which I got in November but I totally spaced it because I had started reading it so it was sitting on my nightstand when I did my haul video. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do I guess kind of turn this into a haul video. So yeah, you guys can see what books I picked up from Barnes and Noble for the month of December. So let's do that. All right, so I'm too lazy to set up my camera. So I'm just going to use my phone. So sorry that I know the angle's kind of weird and I feel like I'm looking down at you. <laughs> but hopefully you can see me and you can see the books and everything. So let's get started. So the book that I forgot to show you guys in November was one that my sister actually sent to me, which is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by, I wanna say it's Lonnie, Lainey, 
Lonnie Laney Taylor. I'm not really sure how to say her name. Pretty name, but I don't know how to say it. But I am literally like 40 pages away from being done. This book is absolutely beautiful. The words and just the flow of the story, I feel like it's just amazing. I have loved this so far. It's just sort of a bummer because November was such a busy month with NaNoWriMo and then December it's like we're gearing up for the holidays, things are crazy at work, we're trying to decorate the house and put up the Christmas tree and the Christmas lights. So I just haven't had as much time to read as I've wanted but I'm really going to do my best the month of December to obviously I'm going to finish this one hopefully tonight because it's only 40 pages and I can totally do that. So hopefully I can finish this one tonight and I'm really hoping since I'll be on planes and on vacation for like 11 days, I think, visiting my family in California and Arizona. I'm really hoping I'll be able to finish like two, maybe three books. That would be ideal. So this is the first book in my December book haul, even though technically it should have been in my November book haul, but I forgot, so sorry. The second book is Compulsion, Heirs of Watson Island by Martina Boone. And I think I saw this book I saw it on Instagram somewhere. I think it was actually author Lindsay Cummings. I think she had posted a photo of it and she was raving about it and said that it was really good. So it says it's darkly romantic and seeped in Southern Gothic charm, which just sounds incredible. So I was like, obviously I'm gonna pick that up. So I'm excited to read this one. The third book in my December book haul is The Unquiet by Michaela Everett. And this book, I've wanted this book for a while and I had a difficult time finding it for some reason, but eventually I found it on Barnes and Noble and ordered it. And again, I'm not sure exactly what this book is about. It says it is epic, desolate, rich, and breathtaking, a must read. So that sounds pretty cool. And I don't know if you can really see the cover, but it kind of has, there's a house like in between trees and there's like people, like masked people in the trees. So I think it's gonna be kind of spooky, sort of. Maybe a thriller, I don't know, but I'm excited. The fourth book in my December book haul is Serafina by Rachel Hartman. This book is one that one of my beta readers recommended that I read because when she was beta reading, sometimes I have a tendency to tell instead of show. And I know a lot of writers get kind of, I don't know, it can be kind of difficult sometimes to know when you're showing and when you're telling or when you're telling too much and you need to show more. So she told me that this book was just that Rachel Hartman is incredible when it comes to showing and just making the reader feel all kinds of things. So I wanted to read this more as a, well the story sounds really neat, but I also wanted to read it to kind of help me as a writer, I guess, learn how to show more instead of tell. It says it is a lush, intricately plotted fantasy and the question on the back says, can one girl unite two worlds? So I'm excited. I think this one will be fun as well. Sorry, I know the lighting's weird so you can't really see the cover, but it's a neat cover. Okay, and on a final note, today is the last day to enter the Goodreads giveaway to win one first edition autographed copy of my debut novel, The Alpha Drive. So if you have not done that, go on and head over to Goodreads and you can enter to win that. That closes at midnight tonight. So I will link that down below as well. My debut novel, The Alpha Drive, is still available for purchase right now on Amazon in both paperback and ebook. I guess that's all that I have to say. If there's anything that you guys would like for me to talk about in one of my next videos, feel free to tweet me at author Kristen M, or you can leave a comment down below. I post new videos every Tuesday. I will see you guys next time. Bye.